Hi Scorpio, so I'm here to do the last half of October's reading and we are in your sign now. Uh, very exciting, we've got the full moon on Halloween, um, first time in Yonks. I'm sure, I'm sure someone said over there in 1940, 1941. Um, so again, the full moon, the blue moon, um, it's happening in your sign, it's under the, it's under Taurus, it is the full moon of Taurus. Um, so about stability, security, safety, uh, finances, that, that type of element about being grounded. Um, so I want to, first I wanted to say thank you. Um, as last, uh, beginning of the month, I added a donation button um, to my videos to help me carry on with the channel. A lot of things have been happening in my life. I've had, gone through a lot of tower moments and me and my children are under eviction at the minute. Um, so I'm trying to manifest uh, a better home, a new home for us. And I do believe that I'm going to do it. <laughs> so, uh, but again, I want to thank everyone for the small donations. They, they mean so much and they can, they will help us move forward. Um, all my info is going to be in the description box below uh, regarding personal readings. I forgot to say in the other readings that I've done today. There is um, a sale on, I'm doing 31% off on the two question readings, the email ones. Um, if, so if you go to my website and check that, that's down below. So I'm going to jump straight in. I'm starting with Spiritual Tarot uh, for Scorpio. And then I'll be doing a Celtic Cross with my Angel Tarot, uh, Angel Oracles and clarifying with the Witcher's Tarot. So my Spiritual Tarot for Scorpios. Material and Spiritual Prosperity. So it's... You're in your season. We're in. We're in Scorpio. You're looking towards material and spiritual. So it's growth within both elements. It's almost as if I'm seeing it as manifestation, uh, bringing balance within your material world and your spiritual world. Um, your soul. That's what your soul longs for. Balance. Yeah. The challenge is financial and material changes. So with everything that's going on in the world as well. I do feel that balance is coming in. Um, there could be some decisions that you're making regarding finances and material, but it's almost as if I can want to say with the, with the situation and the challenge being a five and a six, it being a number eleven. Um, you're reviewing what is what serves your soul. Are you doing the job that serves your soul? Are you, you know materially? Your material possessions, do they serve your soul? You know, it's that type of element. So I do feel like Scorpios are really going in deep, um, especially about business and finances, regarding spiritual though. So why is this coming around now for my Scorpios? Why is this coming around now? So we've got a disruption. So yeah, it could be the things that are going on in the world. You know, a lot of people are losing the jobs and things like that. So we've gone through this type of disruption, but it's almost as if you've got to the point of you've been fighting and battling and trying to keep things, trying to get in control of situations. You've got to a point, I feel like a lot of Scorpios have just gone, what will be, will be. If it's meant for me, it'll be meant for me. Um, I feel like you're tired of fighting with this disruption card. I feel like, you're piecing the jigsaw pieces together within yourself, within your material world and your soul, your spirit. Um, so let's have a look. Recent past my spirit. It's for my spirit. <laughs> for my Scorpios. Wisdom. So life lessons. So some things didn't turn out the way you'd hoped, you know, but you've, you've learned a lot of lessons you know, he's got the Akashic records in his hands there. So it could be life, you know, past life karma as well. That's You've been through a turbulent time with the fives. Big changes, but it's enabled you to learn from this. We've got two fives here. So big changes have taken place in your life. Um, especially recently, you've gone through big changes. But you're only getting wiser through it. Because at present, you are manifesting like a motherfucker. So we've got the magician. So we've got three major arcans on the table now. So you can you are you can manifest. It's almost like you've dropped the whatever was blocking you manifesting, whether it be 
something for your soul or something financial, you've got that tired of farting. Now that you're not farting it, bang, the universe can work with you because you've stopped blocking yourself. And if this isn't in yet, it's definitely coming in around the full moon. Um, you're becoming more aware of your thoughts, more aware of the way you speak to yourself as well. Because um, words cast spells. So the way we speak to ourselves um, is, a, is a major impact on our lives as well. But you're becoming more aware of that. So near future, your past and present are all major arcana and why it's coming around. Cancer's just got a hell of a lot of major arcana. So I'm a Scorpio's near future. Stand your ground. Choose your battles wisely, but always stand your ground. Stand up for your beliefs. So someone could have brought in this towel moment. This could be an outside influence that, you know, it could be regarding family matters or finances, you know, that type of thing. But don't forget the situation is about bringing material and spiritual prosperity. It's for you to grow materially and spiritually. It's stand your ground. Make those decisions, what you're manifesting, and stand your ground don't self-doubt, don't go into self-doubt mode, especially when you're in high manif manifestation mode. We've got the magician there. We are in Mercury retrograde. Mercury rules the magician card. Your power in the situation is your crown chakra. So it's to trust what you, the downloads, it's to trust what you are becoming aware of. You know, the magician works with the crown chakra. It's, you're sending it out to the universe. Your power is... is to manifest. Mercury retrograde is having um, a positive effect on you. <laughs> Outside influence, sacrifice. So, to me, again, because this is your spiritual tarot, the outside influence is always spirit. It's almost as if you are going to be rewarded because you've let it go, because you've sacrificed something, because instead of keeping yourself here where your hands are tied and you can't do anything, it, it's almost like pff, what will be will be. And because you've done that, you've sacrificed it, the blessings will start to come in. You'll be getting out of this sinking sand, you know. It's She's she's in the dark, murky waters there, but she's sacrificing that. Spirit are asking you to sacrifice it. Sacrifice any doubts, any worries. Concentrate on your manifestations. Hope so for years. You've got 777 in your in your reading now, so check angel number 777. Uh, patience and planning. So their hope for you now is that you be patient. Don't rush into anything. Don't react in a negative manner, especially when we were saying earlier, words cast spells, because we don't want to bring anything karmically back, um, any negativity. But you've got to stand your ground. It's like firm boundaries with yourself and other people. And if you're going after what you want and people are saying, no, that's not going to work, you stand your ground. You you stand with your beliefs. I'm getting that really, really strongly. So your outcome is the light, the sun. So it's working in your favour. You are manifesting. You're manifesting th something to be happy about. It's all about happiness. It's um, So, yeah, we need the financial, but you also need to be happy because money doesn't always bring pure happiness. So where are we getting this light from? Hope. Because you've still got hope. You haven't lost hope, and that is what you've, you've done. Instead of losing hope here where you could hit rock bottom and it's time to get back up, you you haven't done that. You've turned it around. So it's like you're trusting the universe to bring in that sun. It's really nice. Really nice energy. Remember to check the 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, sorry, 7-7-7. Seven, seven, seven. So your angel tarot. Let's do a Celtic cross. See what's going on with Scorpio at the minute. Situation. So we've got a high priestess. So your intuition is on that point at the minute, especially with the spiritual tarot. So listen to your intuition, have patience. Consider carefully what you want before acting. Again, that's what I was feeling about. Consider carefully about your reactions as well. Consider how you react, how you're going to react um, before acting. So I'll sit and think. If someone comes with some challenging, challenging information, um, or the universe is delivering you, you know what's going on in society, um, just sit with your intuition. 
because you're showing us highly intuitive. Well, you are an highly intuitive sign anyway, but you're showing us highly intuitive. The challenge is the stress. The challenge is the Ten of Wands. It's to get out of that stress vibration, um, carrying the load on the back. It's to drop it. Be able to accept help from others. I feel like someone's bringing some kind of stress into your life. There's a, an outside influence that's bringing some kind of stress into your life. Yeah, so why is it coming around? We've got the Five of Earth, which is like feeling left out in the cold. Um, it's fears. It's uh, you know, It can be fears surrounding finances as well. Uncertain employment. So you could be questioning what you do. Like I said earlier, you could be questioning, like, am I fulfilled in what I do? Um, everything that's happening in 2020 could have made you question what you've been doing first yonks, you know, life changing. So recent past, we've got the free of air, great sadness, the take, take time to heal, the need to forgive yourself and others. I'm going to clarify all these. So the free of air is about healing. It's also about heartbreak. So there could be an outside influence that's caused a lot of pain that you've had to heal from or you're still in that vibration of trying to heal that situation because the challenge is the ten of fire stress related health concerns as well so there could be anxiety a bit of depression um yeah a negative vibration yeah because at present we've got the two of earths so juggling making that decision too much going on at once there's a decision that needs to be made uh, a more playful approach so less of the stress more of the you know the light energy making a decision and going with it because you are manifesting you're unblocking yourself that's what i see and then near future we get the strength card magic number 11 so which has been granted great in a, uh, strength release harsh judgments forgiveness and compassion to me that's when you're gonna have to put that into interfering where i was saying about your reactions and things like that um it's kind of release it whatever they've done whatever these people have done whatever the situation is it's kind of you're releasing that situation because you you want better so you 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 gain in spiritual strength your power in this situation we've got two the sun and the free of earth so happy outcomes your power is to bring in this happy outcome brilliant new ideas that lead to success have confidence in yourself. Once you get rid of this stress or this anxiety, this, this depression, this like dark energy, um, bang, your intuition comes in. It, it's there. It's sitting right there, the high priestess. Um, illusions, you're seeing through the illusions now. You're seeing the truth of situations, um, especially within your life. So you, you start to receive the new ideas, the inspirations that are going to lead you forward. On top of that, we've got the free of, work, free of earth. The power of creativity, recognition for very high quality of work and being a team player. So to me, it could be working with new people. It could be um, the power of creativity. You know, it, again, those new ideas that bring on that new line. You know, you could keep something running in the background and put yourself into something new. What's influencing? Scorpio's reading. What's the outside influence? We've got two again. The six of air, things are looking up the end of a difficult situation. And the nine of water, the nine of cups, your wishes come true, concerns fade away, love of life. So the outside influence, I feel like someone's going to back off. Um, someone's going to back off or or some kind of stress element is kind of going to fall away because you're not reacting to it the same as you would have before. So they're not being able to feed on it, if you get what I mean. Um, so it could have been energy vampires or it could have been situations in your life that you were feeding with the negativity with the worry about it and because you're not because you've pulled yourself out of it and it's that what will be will be I, you know it will fulfill your wishes it will come back you're bringing back positivity positive results hopes or fears the sixth of earth you just want balance you want balance uh give some money time and effort new career opportunities um, so it's balance within finances, but it's also balancing life, time, effort, that type of thing. And your outcome is the queen of fire. So you could be going, you could be dealing with a fire sign, but it's about you. To me, that, that is you, the queen of fire, stretch wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself, assert your independence and creativity. There's a lot of creativity here. It's once you get rid of the dark clouds within the mind 
um, you push those thoughts aside, all these new ideas and inspirations are coming in in order for you to start something new, to start a new business or to start a new path, you know, what you're putting yourself in into. So let's have a bit of clarify. So the half priestess. The moon. So if someone has been lying about you or anything like that, um, or creating some kind of illusions, this will come to the surface. So you don't need to worry about that. Release anything that's holding you back. We've got the full moon coming in Halloween in your sign. So the ten of fire being the challenge, the knight of pentacles, it's time to slow down and think more logically. It's time to slow down and let things be because things will work out in your favour. The Five of Earth, why is it coming round now? So we've got the 11-11. So even though you feel left out in the cold and you don't know where you stand just yet, we've got the completion of a project. You're just about to come up to this completion of a project. You might have been starting to see 11-11 quite a lot. The Knight of Cups, there's an offer coming in. Um, whether that's an offer, you're giving yourself that offer uh, or someone else is bringing in this offer. The Three of Pentacles. So we've got the Three of Pentacles in your power. So it's teamwork, it's pe bringing in people to help you as well. Um, but there could be an offer of a job there, offer of new finances. But I'm seeing it more as you're doing the, you're doing the self work with the three of pentacles. Um, and it could be outside influences coming in to help you through this situation in order to restore balance again to this situation. So the recent past with the three of air, which is the three of swords, the Ace of Swords, so there could have been legal situation, documents, papers, um, that type of thing. It could be going with an Ace uh, But it's like you've seen the truth and clarity on that situation. I feel like there's someone that's just not worth your energy. Clarify. Page of Cups in reverse. So there is like an immature energy around you um, that you need to step away from. The world in reverse. So you're still kind of in that cycle, but you're moving away from it. Light will be shown. On, if anyone's trying to bring you down, light will be shown on that. The two of Earth at present. So we've got the Queen of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. So Queen of Pentacles. So it's time to sit down and chill out. It's time to review. You want to be financially stable, but you also want to be able to enjoy life. And to me, that's that's perfect when on top of the two of Earth because it's the busy card, it's the juggling, it's the... You've got to make time for yourself and you've got to make time to have fun. Clarify. The chariot, positive movement forward. It could also... I do feel like travel could be on the cards. You could be thinking of travelling with a page of wands, some need for excitement, you know, because you've worked so hard, because you've been so busy, 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 you know, it's time to um, reward yourself with with some kind of travel, with some kind of, you, you know, new moving forward, positive movement forward, whether it be travel, uh, relocation or relocation of where you get your finances from, you know, there's a move that'll work out better for you. The Wheel of Fortune is better to spin in your favour, so things are going to change. That's on top of the Strength card. Seven of Wands in reverse. Again, I keep getting this, no need to justify yourself. There's no need to justify yourself. Don't react. Don't feed the Vipers, you know, that type of energy, because the Wheel of Fortune is spinning in your favour. It will turn in your favour. So don't feed don't feed the energy vampires. Sometimes the energy vampires can be your own thoughts as well. The Eight of Pentacles, you concentrate on you. You concentrate on how you're getting your finances. You concentrate on um, self-growth, you know, because you're growing. You're ending an eight karmic cycle. You're ending a karmic cycle. And yeah, a lot of it has been turbulent and there's been a lot of deep inner healing going on for you. But I feel like you are being pushed forward now it's time to reward yourself and not feel bad about it but i do feel like the truth is coming out within situations around you where people could have lied or people could have added extra stress on top of you you know snide behavior and things like that um but i don't feel like it's affecting you in a negative way because i feel like the wheel of fortune spins in your favor in that sense so your power being the sun and the free of earth 
it's the five of pentacles in reverse so yeah you are unblocking the blocks so any blocks that you put on on yourself um regarding anything regarding finances regarding um love let me clarify justice so justice is on your side your power is to it's to karmically unblock that now so there could definitely be um legal situation documentation um your power is to get justice in that situation it, it's to unblock yourself unblock the block blockages because you're moving forward you, you're learning from that so this outside influence i feel like they've no other option but to we've got the star so we could be dealing with aquarius but we're going the outside influence is a blessing in disguise the blessings are raining down on you the star's coming in so if this is legal you'll be winning a legal situation the queen of fire as your outcome king of cups so you, you're there, you're sat in your in your masculine energy, being able to go with the flow, being in control of your emotions because you've got all this new creativity, these new ideas because you've unblocked yourself from that. Sorry, I've got to fly up. They have ones, so quick communication coming in. That could be you to someone else or someone else to you. What's the communication? The Nine of Pentacles. So you could actually definitely be questioning your employment. We've got the Nine of Pentacles. Um, if it's not you questioning your employment, it's better employment coming in. We've got she's in this card. She's the single. She's the independent woman, you know. And your outcome is finding that it is independence with the Queen of Fire. There, you're in your element. There's something. It's like you've gained your independence and she can move forward. Five of Swords in reverse. So you're getting out of that head fuckery, that head battle. One more. Seven of Swords in reverse. See, you're walking away from, you're coming away from whatever or whoever has been draining you. Uh, the energy vampires, you know, the smug little sneaky. Illusions are going to come to the surface. Um, you're going to see right through it. You're going to see right through it. Other people are going to see right through it. But I'm loving it. So I hope that helps. Okay. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Bye.